On the cold winter night of December 24, 1945, tragedy struck the Sauter family in Fayetteville, West Virginia. George and Jenny Sauter, Italian immigrants who had settled in the small town, lived with their ten children in a two-story house. That night, as they prepared to celebrate Christmas, the Sauter residence became engulfed in flames. Panic spread through the family as they realized that five of their children, Maurice, 14, Martha, 12, Louis, a 9, Jenny, 8, and Betty, 5, were missing. Their frantic search for the children began, but little did they know that this would be the start of a decades-long mystery that remains unsolved to this day. The events leading up to the fire raise numerous questions. Some witness accounts suggested that two men were spotted observing the Sauter children earlier in the day, potentially fueling suspicions of foul play. Additionally, the Sauters had received a strange visit from a traveling insurance salesman who, upset by George's dismissal of his offer, warned that their house would go up in smoke and their children would be destroyed. Was this a mere coincidence or a chilling premonition? The fire that ravaged the Sauter home appeared to be intense, reducing the house to rubble. However, the lack of human remains puzzled investigators. No trace of the children was found amidst the charred debris, leaving little evidence to determine their fate. The absence of such remains raised doubts about the possibility of the children perishing in the fire. Could they have escaped? And if so, what happened to Maurice, Martha, Louis, Jenny, and Betty? The official investigation into the Sauter children's disappearance left many unanswered questions. Some speculated that the fire could have been intentionally set to cover up a kidnapping. The strange behavior of the phone lines also raised suspicions, as the Sauters discovered that their phone lines had been cut, making it impossible to call for help. The circumstances surrounding the fire and the missing children were perplexing, and doubts began to cast shadows of suspicion on the official version of events. In the years following the tragedy, George and Jenny Sauter tirelessly pursued the truth about their children's fate. They hired private investigators, consulted experts, and even enlisted the help of national media outlets to shed light on the mystery. The couple firmly believed that their children were still alive and out there somewhere. Their quest for answers consumed them, fueling their determination to find the truth and reunite with their missing children. Over time, various theories emerged to explain the Sauter children's disappearance. Some suggested that the children had perished in the fire, their remains incinerated beyond recognition. Others believed they had been abducted by individuals who wanted to punish the Sauter family. Sightings of individuals resembling the missing children were reported years after the incident, renewing hope and keeping the case alive. The Sauters, determined to uncover the truth, pursued every lead and possibility, refusing to give up on their beloved sons and daughters. Decades passed, and the mystery of the Sauter children's disappearance continued to captivate the public's imagination. George and Jenny Sauter spent the rest of their lives tirelessly searching for answers until their deaths, never giving up hope. The case remains unsolved, leaving us to wonder about the fate of Morris, Martha, Louis, Jenny, and Betty. Were they victims of a tragic fire, or did they vanish into thin air? Only time and the unveiling of new evidence may bring justice to this haunting, unsolved crime from 1945.